Hi, this is a Blu-ray haul, and this is my second time trying to record this because I have to do it on my phone, and if someone decides, hey, I want to call him near the end of the video, he has to completely redo it. <sighs> so, it's a Blu-ray haul. I went to two places. I went to Walmart, and I went to a local game store, and the ones from the game store are pre-owned, uh, but in good condition. Because uh, I, I look them over and make sure the cases are good, the discs are good. but So those are fine. Um, and then I got some stuff from Walmart. Uh, from the Blu-ray bin. So, first from Walmart, I got the Hercules Steelbook. Uh, I haven't seen the movie. I don't really care uh, about the quality of the movie. It's just, it's a Steelbook for 8 bucks. Like, I, I'm down with that. I'm just now noticing that there's some minor damage to the front of it, but oh well. Um, so yeah, happy to get that for $8. Blood Diamond, also on the Blu-ray bin, 8 bucks. I uh, haven't seen it, but only heard good things about it. And The Great Gatsby. Um, it has an odd charm to it, and I dig the story. It was like one of my favorite stories in English. So, uh, yeah, I, I like it. Plus it's DiCaprio, so you gotta get it. Uh, now from the game store. I was surprised that they had this because I just saw the trailer for this a few months ago. And, um, I, I put it on my Amazon wish list, and I never got around to buying it. And then, of course, I saw it there. It's the perfect host. It's kind of like a, a dark comedy, and um, I, I'm really excited for it because it looked, it looked really good. Then we got The Last House on the left. This is the new movie, and well, newer. Um, and I actually got this for free because they, uh, they couldn't find the DVD that goes along with the two-pack, so they just gave it to me, so that's pretty cool. I live in Vermont, okay, so to see a foreign movie uh, at a used game store um, in such good condition, it blew my mind. Uh, like this disc, I mean this, uh, this case has no fingerprints, it has nothing on it. Um, the host. Korean monster movie. An amazing monster movie that you guys definitely need to watch if you have not already. Um, it, it It's great. It really is great. It's really weird, but that's kind of, you know, how Eastern culture is. It's, it's really strange uh, to us. Um, so, next, we got Total Recall Steelbook. And, uh... Haven't seen the movie. I'm not someone that just hates on remakes um, for no real reason. I think your movie needs to stand the test of time, and let's face it, a lot of the classic movies that we all love don't. Alien doesn't stand the test of time. Aliens doesn't. Uh, Total Recall certainly does not. So if they want to remake stuff and make it better, in my opinion, they are making it better. Uh, the fact that people hated on the Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street reboot. Yeah, they're reboots. They're not total remakes. The fact that people hated on those is BS because they're just like the originals. So it's, it's really a strange ground that we walk on. Like, it's okay for The Force Awakens to do shit like that, but... Oh, oh if Jurassic World tries it... Forget about it. If if um, you know a re uh, an actual reboot remake tries it, oh, it's a total shitstorm. But it's okay for a movie to declare that it's original, even though it's not. Little rant over. <laughs> and then finally, we got Total Recall Steelbook number two. <laughs> I saw them both sitting next to each other, and I'm. I told you, I'm a sucker for steelbooks. Like, I can't help myself. If I see a steelbook, I'm getting it. Like, it, it doesn't matter what it is. So I got two of them. I don't need two of them. But I got them. 
So, it, I, I'm a strange, strange man. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's really strange and I, I kind of said things that um, a lot of people are not going to agree with me on, especially about Mad Max and about uh, the reboot remake problem. Um, but I want to hear hear your thoughts. If, if you don't like what I had to say, just dislike the video, I guess. I mean, it, it's just the reality that we live in, you know? Uh, a ton of mindless action is okay for Mad Max Fury Road, but nobody else. So, it, it's strange, but anyway... Uh, Comment down below, let me know uh, what you guys saw of this video, if there's anything I could do better, if there's anything I could improve upon. Uh, yeah, that's it.